high-tech radios, lighter beds, smaller battery packs. These gadgets are all designed to help aid workers improve lives. This charger runs on water and salt. It can be used by aid workers and refugees alike in places where electricity is hard to find. And with this large solar system, you can charge a laptop in less than two hours, which is a pretty good mark. There's no, no product out there in the market with a 30 watt power, so it has uh, more than enough capacity to two times charge a laptop or if you want to uh, charge a smartphone. Dominating ADEX this year, the pressing crisis of the Ebola virus in West Africa, which is exhausting the global supply of protective gear. Uh, worldwide, of all the, the producers of the coveralls and the, the, the boots and, and all the, 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 the special equipment, there is a need, and, but the production is too low. Meanwhile, the designers of this fireproof tent hope it can save the lives of people fleeing violence in places like Iraq and Syria. They say fire is too often a danger in refugee camps. Very basic concept of housing. When you make houses, fire prevention system or standards should be there. But in refugee camps, because of the pricing issues and logistical complications, that was not possible to have a fire safety solution available within the shelters. Governments and aid agencies hope this event will inspire future scientists to rise to today's complex humanitarian challenges. But what we're seeing now is this emergence of young people who don't just want to kind of work for multinational and make money, but actually want to set up their own enterprises and indeed actually their own social enterprises, which will look to make a commercial return. So this whole movement towards social entrepreneurship, particularly in Africa, I think is a real opportunity that we're looking to exploit. Many of the private sector exhibitors here are competing for a space on the market. But they too are motivated by the genuine belief that things can be better, especially for those most in need. Sandra Gatman, CCTV, Brussels.